Hi everyone, on day 23, it's a Tuesday. Very happy about personal best record, uh, longer than last year's 21. And I'm not sure if it's because of the human growth hormone, but my hair has been growing exponentially. I'm gonna get a haircut. Um, but anyways, uh, my heart goes out to uh, the suffering people in Ukraine. Uh, so my prayers go out to them, and I know that's easy for me to say, but um, I'm gonna lay off on these videos for a little bit. <laughs> Uh, uh, this will probably be one of the few videos I make before the end, which is next Tuesday. <laughs> and uh, I feel good. I have an interview coming up for my job. And uh, I'm going to have to focus on that. And um, I do feel a little bit lethargy, um, probably because of low level of electrolytes. I get very easily fatigued when I'm walking around. So I need to get sunlight, but just sitting out in the sun probably is the best. I feel like an old man again. But tea helps. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of warm tea so I don't get cold. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, that's my cat. Hey, say hello to Kobe. He's sleeping. You can see my ribs, which is a little bit scary when... Um, so it's going to be a little bit scary because I'm going to look like a skeleton by the end of this 30-day fast. But um, again, I, I don't want to be one of those people making too much noise on social media right now. There's a lot of important things to be worried about, like the war. Uh, in, in Ukraine, it's especially tough today. It's one in the afternoon. I keep getting up in the middle of the night. And I guess I underestimated <laughs> how much harder it is past 21 days. So th day 24 is especially tough. I can't move very well and I was feeling a little quite depressed earlier. Uh, I thought sunlight would help and I opened all the windows and stuff but I still felt really weird, so um, I made some tea out of like cinnamon and nutmeg. I think it helps a little bit. And uh, I just can't wait until Tuesday. <laughs> can't wait until day 30. I don't really have anything much to add. Work is going well, so that's good. I can still focus very well. My brain works well, it's just that my body is like fatigued and I feel like an 80-year-old 80, 80 grandpa. I'm going to have to uh, fight through this. I have five, six done. I think that's about a little bit more than 80%. <laughs> Math skills. Um, I'm very excited that I'm close to the finish line. This morning, I feel very good. There was no sleep disturbance yesterday. I guess I felt pretty relaxed. I drank some tea. Uh, I found some time to unwind at night. And uh, I was dog tired. So I guess <laughs> that's one key to going to bed better, like falling asleep right away. I got up at like four. It was great. Um, I feel refreshed, definitely compared to yesterday. Um, I was struggling yesterday. I don't know why. This is really like a day-to-day -day thing. There are things that kind of help with the fast, like talking to certain people help me a lot, kind of lift my mood. And then sometimes I just get exhausted. So I think I might have been just exhausted and... I was having heart palpitations for the past, you know, week or so. So maybe the Himalayan salt helps um, and all of that. So, yeah, I'm feeling good. Looking forward to doing, getting some stuff done today. And uh, just day by day, everyone, day by day. You really have to um, find ways to really make the time pass fast. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited. I, this weekend... I'm going to go grocery shopping so that I can break my fast on Tuesday uh, with some with some good healthy foods, purees, miso soup, the usual baby food series <laughs> for the weakened digestive system. So slowly going to get it back online. Uh, this time around, I'm going to do things differently than last year. I'm going to stay away from, to be honest, completely all fruits for maybe the first week. Uh, basically keto, well, just soup and purees for the first week um, and then slowly, slowly go back into keto. Um, so veggies, um, minimum starches like potatoes, uh, just being careful with potatoes and sweet potatoes, um, being very careful with fruits and basically no desserts, no pastries, none of that. Um, because I used to binge last year after I finished the fast. So none of that, no processed snacks, no chips, 
no corn chips. Um, so I'm gonna have to be more disciplined about that. But uh, nuts are fine, nut butter, plant milk. Um, so I'm gonna have to find different ways to, you know, enjoy food again. And I think it'll be easy. I'm gonna do some reaction videos of me eating after this 30 day fast. Everything's gonna taste so good. I can't wait to eat broccoli. <laughs> Bye. Hi everyone. Just got back from the office and I got a haircut. Much needed. <laughs> Looks pretty good. I like it. Uh, anyways, today uh, it's Friday day 26. Almost done. Basically almost 90% done. But one thing I wanted to say is that I feel very energized right now after coming back from the office, you know. Even when I interacted with only like three, four people, it's always good to say hi to the people in the office and it's energizing. As much as introverted as I am, I do get energy uh, from meeting with people. By the way, my skin looks good. <laughs> but um, I guess I become more sensitive to where I get my energy now because, you know, I'm not getting it from food. So I feel very energized compared to the morning and, and the rest of the week when I was just working from home. And I guess that really is all thanks to the people um, I was interacting with at the office. Uh, so I'm grateful for them. Not all people are the same. Some people take energy from you. Some people give you energy with their interest and attention and, and, and they exude positive energy to you. So I guess when you're fasting, you become more sensitive to that as well. And uh, Today is kind of a grateful day where I, where I thank them. So I thought that was kind of interesting and wanted to share it with you. Tomorrow's day 27 and Tuesday I can eat. Bye bye.